so you should have that now. So I'm first going to talk about um, tractor packages and how you can add them very, very easily to your site, and that is through dealer specials. And so I'm here on the screen in the back end, and the way I got here is I went to content, and from the drop down, I went down to dealer specials and clicked that, and I, it brought me here. And as you can see, I've got a few dealer specials already in here. These are just ones that I created for the uh, demo site that we use. So um, they're just in here as kind of an example. But I'm going to click on create a dealer special and go through a few ways that you can feature um, tractor packages using this widget. And a lot of you already know how to use this, but if you're not using this, this is a very cool way to put um, not just tractor packages, but if you have uh, parts specials, like 10% off for a limited time, something like that, or maybe you have some service specials uh, every quarter or so, you can add those right here from the same screen. But today, since we're doing tractor packages, the type of special that I want from this dropdown is going to be equipment. And when I select that here, that's automatically going to put it on the equipment specials page for me. So there's no need to add this and then go to a page and do anything. Um, it's going to add that to the correct page automatically from this drop down right here at the top. For the uh, title, I can put something like uh, Kubota BX Tractor Package. The tagline that you see here can be um, anything that's that's not related to the, the general idea. So you may want to say something like great financing offers available. And that's just a little bit of information to draw people in a little bit more. For your description box here, you can load this thing up with everything that someone might need to know about your tractor package. So you can include the price, uh, any implements or attachments that might come with that. Uh, tell them a little bit about the trailer you're including and maybe the um, the reason that you use a said trailer. Um, you can add dimensions in case that's of importance. Somebody needs something that's kind of small to move around a lot. Um, then, then you can put that in here. Um, and then anything else that you find pertinent that could be uh, horsepower, it could be anything like that. And then you've got a spot here for a disclaimer. So above you'll notice that I mentioned that we have a, um, we have like this tagline that said we have great financing offers available. So for the disclaimer, we can tell people um, what they need to know about the, that offer. Not everybody's necessarily eligible for financing. So you can say something like offer expires at the end of the month. So that would be 6.30.19. You can say some restrictions apply. And that lets people know, like I said, not everyone might be eligible for the financing offer that you have. And then always see dealer for details. This is a very easy uh, disclaimer, kind of a catch-all. Uh, I know that some people have a, a disclaimer that they use for everything. And if that's the case, if you have sort of a, a default disclaimer at your dealership, just copy and paste it right here in this disclaimer field. And that's all you have to do. This box here where it says dealer special featured is a great way to feature this on your home page. So the thing about dealer specials, and same thing with tractor packages, you can add as many as you want on your website. So if you only have two or three, that's great. But if you have 25, that's great too. You can add as many of those as you want to the site, but you can feature several of those on the home page and give them a little bit more real estate. This is a great thing to do with tractor packages because we want to push those, especially now in the busy season when people are looking for new equipment, this would be a great way to really show that off. In order to do that, all you have to do is check this box where it says dealer special featured. And that's going to add it to your homepage. You can do this on up to six different specials. So you can feature up to six different tractor packages on your homepage that people can go and check out. I will say that a lot of folks don't have this feature enabled on their site. Uh, it's, it's defaulted to not show until you add some specials to your site. But if you want to contact the help desk, which is at kabotahelp at tracktrue.com, then we can get that uh, enabled on your homepage. It takes maybe a minute, very quick. So uh, once again, this is a really great way to, to add that to the homepage. And then lastly, you can add an image for your special. And we all know how to add images. You click select image and you can either drag and drop it to this box or click this blue text and select it from one of the folders on your computer. And if you do, what I recommend for tractor packages is putting everything together, 
So getting um, whatever machine it is you're using, be it a if it's a BX or if it's an L series, what have you, um, get that together, add the implements or the attachments that are um, part of the tr the package to that that machine, and then put it on the trailer that you're selling it with. So you're putting the entire package together, and I would take photos of that, kind of have a, a photo day. And you can be as specific as you want. You can add more photos in the description if you want to kind of do a 360 around that machine. Or you can just take one really great photo and add it right here to use um, with your, your tractor package. Also, remember, if you don't have... Um, if you don't have those images available yet, you can always click on the headline image library over here on the right hand side. And that's going to bring up all of the images from Kubota Brand Builder. And so you can find your, your series, in this case a BX, um, on this headline image library. And I'm just searching for BX within that and finding a ton of BXs in here. So, um, so you can also add an image that way. Very easy to do. The last thing I want to show you here uh, I'll scroll back up to the top and I'm going to click this more actions button and we've got this publish unpublish on specific date. You'll notice I set my expiration date for the last day of this month. And so what I can do is when I click on publish unpublish on specific date, it brings me here on date to unpublish. I can check this box or, or sorry, click in this box here and I've got um, the month of June so I can pull up the 30th and I can have that expire anytime. I can have it first thing on the 30th or I can like bring it to like 11 o'clock at night on this 24-hour uh, clock. And that way I can set this to unpublish and I don't have to worry about uh, remembering to go and take that down and I'm not going to have any uh, offers on my site that are already expired. So you've got that here. That, that's a really great tool that, to just automate uh, your site a little bit and not have to you know, constantly jump in and unpublish something or delete something once the offer expires. Let the site do it for you. And then if you you're familiar with this tool, you know that you can save as a, a draft and that's going to keep you from having to go and make changes later. So if you um, need something, you're waiting on photos, anything like that, you can save it as a draft and come back and publish this special later if you, um, if you don't have everything you need right that second. So on the home page here, I'm going to go to uh, our demo site. This is the current specials widget and you can see I'm featuring this M-Series package on my demo. Um, so again, this is a really great way to grant that homepage real estate to your site. So yeah. Another place that you can uh, feature your tractor packages is on your hero area. And everyone has one of two hero areas. You have this one, which is called the hero search. And it's got um, these four call to action buttons here. So let me go to the page and I'll show you uh, how to change those call to action buttons. So what you can do is you can add a call to action button here that goes to your tractor packages and I'm going to show you how to create a page that you can push that right to it. And while that's pulling up, the other one I wanted to show you is the people that have this, the, the carousel that has multiple images. You can create um, a very similar thing with um, the hero carousel where you have a, a photo of you know, a tractor package or multiple tractor packages together here. And then you can tell people about those tractor packages with this text. And then this button here, you can set to go to the tractor package page as well. So great way to feature that on, on your homepage there. So to change it on the hero search, when you click edit on your widget and it brings up the edit screen that pops up, Down here at the very bottom, it's got calls to action. When you click that, it brings up one, two, three, and four. Obviously, you don't have to have four. If you only have like one or two, that's fine. Um, but all you have to do to change it to tractor packages is just change your button text to something like tractor packages. And then you can send this, uh, when you click select target and you click change, it brings up every page on your website. So if you've got a, a new page created for tractor packages and you want to send it there, you can select that page here in the back end. Or if you just want to send people to your equipment specials page and have all your tractor packages there, then you can do that. And once you're done selecting that, when you click save, it will automatically save a tractor packages button for you so that you can um, feature that here. And then I want to show you what it looks like on, um, 
on this as well on the um, hero carousel so I have an alternate home page on my on my uh, demo site and from here I just click edit and it brings up this a similar pop-up widget but it's got different items in the carousel and so I can just add one oh, and don't forget to set your uh, expiration dates but I can add a new one that's called tractor packages or something like save big on tractor packages and say something like financing available and then we have an expiration date set on these so that you won't have any um, out-of-date banners here as well so if this is something you're gonna run for a while then you can choose a date that's really far out but if it's something that you're only gonna have through maybe the end of the month then you can set that here too so I'm gonna set this for June 30th uh, and we'll set it to 11 p.m. It'll go out at the same time that our uh, our package goes off on the that page. And then I'm going to click redirect to an internal page so I can add a button. And I'm going to link to the equipment specials page. And my button text it says learn more. I think that's great. But if you wanted to change that, you can. And then lastly, you can select an image, or if you do like a video walk around of a tractor package, you can add that to the hero carousel as well because our hero carousel accepts video under 15 seconds. So I'm just gonna click over here on the headline images and find a BX. And this one's fine. And then I can add it to my hero carousel just like that. And so it's a part of the mix now. So those are a few great ways to add this uh, to your homepage, give it a little bit more real estate and show off those tractor packages. The last thing that I want to show you is how to create a page that has just tractor packages on it. So I'm going to come back here to pages. I'm going to click on create a page. And I'm going to name it tractor packages. And then you have the option to put this page on the top level of your navigation, which means it's going to put it in this list or you can put it underneath something like you see when I hover over equipment. These are the things that are underneath equipment. Um, so I'm going to choose to do that. I'm going to click under parent page and I'll put it under equipment. And I obviously want it to show up in the navigation. So I'm just going to leave that as is. And then for template you see here, you always want to select the same thing and it's called full width. So if you scroll up to the top, you've got the full width template and you'll see that most pages on your site use this. So I'm gonna click full width and click done. And what all that does is it automatically adds the header and the footer and all of that styling to your new page for you. So uh, that's the easiest one uh, to remember is just full width every time. And I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna click this green button that says create and go to add content. And then it's gonna bring up my page to edit. And so if you haven't seen a blank page before, this is basically what it looks like. You've got um, sort of a, think of it like a sandwich. You've got the top bun here with the header, and you've got the, the bottom bun, it's your footer. And then you've got this container here in the middle that's empty right now, and that's where your all the, the fillings are gonna go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is drag a content block over, and I do that just by clicking on content block, and then I drag and drop it over. And remember, content blocks are like the Swiss Army knife of your, your page widgets. widgets. You can add images from a content block, you can add uh, video, YouTube links, you can add uh, all kinds of text and titles, things like that from a content block. And then I'm going to drag over um, from the Kubota Custom, oh excuse me, that's incorrect, from Dealer. I'm going to drag over the Dealer Specials widget. So that's over here. I'm going to drop that in the container. And then I'm going to click create content on my content block so I can add um, a note for people here on uh, about my dealer special. So uh, right here I can say something about how um, I have tractor packages 
in all sizes. Um, great value. We can talk about the warranty that's offered by buying a tractor package. We can talk about the decision to add the trailer that we wanted from the tractor package right here. Um, it's sort of the sky's the limit. There's a ton of room to write here, so feel free to um, to add content, you know, and add anything that you think is relevant to the tractor package that people might want to know. So I'm just going to put this for now. I can change this text up up here at the top, and I'm going to click these three dots so it gives me more options. I can center text here, and if I want this to be bigger, if I click on paragraph, You'll see I've, that's paragraph is just like the normal everyday text you see on a site. Maybe I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to choose heading four, and that's going to make this text a little bit bigger. I'm going to center that up. Click Save. i got my text here. For dealer specials, sometimes when you add a new widget, the style needs to be changed. That's really easy to do. So I'm going to click Edit on this, and I'm going to make a few different changes. So first, I'm going to go to List Settings. And where it says dealer special, I'm going to click this and click on equipment because these are equipment specials. And I'm going to do the same thing for the single item. I'm just going to click this and then um, make sure it's on equipment. And then I don't necessarily want all my dealer specials on here because I'm only dealing in tractor packages on this page. So I'm going to click this second circle here that says selected dealer specials. I'm going to click select and it's going to give me every single special that I've added in the back end. And I can add the ones I want right here by checking the boxes next to them. So I'm going to add these two. When I click Done Selecting, I'm going to click Save. And it takes just a second, and the format of these dealer specials is going to change, and it's only going to show the two I want it to show, which is my M-Series package and my great deal on a Kubota M7. So that's exactly what I wanted. Very easy to do. And the last thing you want to do on the page is add a call to action. And so I like adding the request a quote form. And I want to do something a little bit different to show you how you can add columns. Up here in the top right corner, there's a button that says layout. And when you click it, it kind of turns everything pink. I'm going to click, I'm going to click on this grid three plus six plus three. It's like a big middle with two smaller side columns like this. So I'm adding that to my form. When I click back on content up here at the top right, everything goes back to normal. And now you'll see I have these three columns I can add widgets to. I'm going to add a form in here by clicking on content and then I'm going to drag and drop over form and then where it says select a form I'm going to click that and I'm going to select get a quote from the list here. So there's get a quote and there's save and it's going to add that get a quote form. You might want to add some more text here so you can pull over the content block drag and drop on here and then you can say something like um, drop us a line to On, on our tractor packages. So I've got that here. Again, I can center it if I want, or I can change it to a different heading to make it a little bit bigger and bolder, but it still styles it. So just something like that's fine. I've got my form here. I've got my tractor packages. I've got any text that I want to add about my tractor packages. I'm ready to publish my page. And so all I do is publish this, and it's live on the site. Now, if this is your first time creating a page and you just want to make sure that you're, you're um, doing everything correctly and everything's going to look good, go ahead and you can create the page and try it out. And then feel free to contact the help desk and we can take a look at it if you want and kind of just give you some pointers if we have any or tell you everything looks good so that you can go ahead and push that out to your site. So, oh, I clicked on the wrong page. Let me click on tractor packages. So I've got a tractor packages page. It's live now on my site. There's my text I added, there's my tractor packages, and my request to quote form. So that's very easy to do and create that page and, and, and point uh, the different homepage widgets to it. Um, you can point, if you have any digital media going to your site, you can point them directly to that, that page. Um, same thing with the individual dealer specials you create. Every one of them gets their own page, so you can, you can send... Um, traffic directly to a, a specific tractor package or that big overview page that you created either way. So that's all I have on tractor packages today. Thank you so much for coming. One more reminder before you leave, kabotadigital.helpdocs.com is an awesome resource 
to be able to go through and um, find anything you need help with. So today we talked about dealer specials. So if I type that in, here's adding and editing a dealer special. I can find the tutorial on that. It's got a great uh, walkthrough that includes screenshots to show you how to create those dealer specials and get those up and running on your site. Thank you so much, and everybody have a great week. Take care.